okay we installed the starter kit and now the time is to register the user and then uh, login into the account so here i'm going to say that uh, cdl and then contact at cdl this one is our official email you can contact us for the projects or if you are having any problem you can contact with us first try to uh, get help from the youtube and if there is anything which is irrelevant to this topic you can get directly help from this our email okay just uh, register this and yes we are registered and i'm going to save this password okay yeah save this one not now okay now i'm logged in right so i'm logged in as a user and uh, we have only one type of user right so we can say that this one would be the let me make this down this one would be the simple user right okay and now we want to authenticate the multiple uh, roles like if i want to add the supervisor role uh, administrator role right so how i want to authenticate that both have the different dashboard so let's implement those different dashboards first uh, go to this sources views and then create another directory which is uh, supervisor okay and then uh, copy this so dashboard and paste this here so this one would be the supervisor i can say that uh, you are logged in as supervisor okay save this one and then i want to create another one which is uh, admin right so let's move this uh, uh, to admin right let me move this okay yes i want to and then you can do it here logged in as admin right as admin so now we have uh, two types of dashboard so i want to redirect my user on the different page so let's pause uh, let me fix first to uh, issue that whenever i will open this dashboard so this will this would affect uh, that this route not found so let me correct it dashboard so this would be the um, uh, we can say that admin dot dashboard so just get refresh and yes we are logged in as admin so now what if we have multiple roles so how we can add the multiple roles so it's very simple so this one contain a user table and i want to add a new role so just add a new column here which name is role and we will use this role uh, as uh, uh, yeah, as our authentication that this one is a, a simple user this one is an admin user so let's go here and create a new migration so just type this uh, php artisan my uh, make migration okay make migration and then i need to type uh, make migration add uh, uh, what's the name or oh, you can add this in the course uh, add uh, uh, role role column into the users table and then you can also define the user table something like this table equal user right so this will uh, tell that to uh, tell the laravel that i want to add this into the users table so this one i also tell that and this one is additional thing that you can uh, specify the type table name here okay just go to the migrations uh migrations here and then this one is a table method which is used to add uh, the table into the existing table okay fine so here i'm going to add a new table uh new column not the table right uh here i did this for the column okay so now i want to add a new uh, column which is um, i can add the string or i can add the integer i want to use the integer why because integer is faster than string so now your question is that integer isn't uh, readable that uh, 0 or 1 uh, would be not the readable right so we can use the constant to make this readable so here i'm going to use the uh, integer and then this would be the role 
and by default role you can assign the by default role like if there is a simple user so you can assign this uh, a zero role or a, a default user role whatever it is so default would be the a zero which means that it's a simple user and then here whenever this one is rolled back you want to do this uh, drop column right and then this role will be dropped okay just go here and i'm going to now execute this php artisan migrate and yes this column is added so let's exit this and make sure that this column is added without losing the data and yes this one is added but we can use the after to add this after this email verified or after the email right but don't worry this one is not over the topic okay uh, let's moving on now um, uh, here the role is added and i need to validate that this one if this one is a simple user he cannot access the administrator route <coughs> So let me create the different routes here. Let's go to the web.php file and I'm going to uh, basically, oops, this one is auth verified and these both middlewares are applied. I want to just apply the auth middleware and uh, just comment this on, comment this on, on. Then here, first I want to add the user, right? So before this dashboard, I want to add this user slash dashboard. And in this case, I want to add the user slash dashboard. So let's add another role here in the resources. Let's make the user role or we can add the simple user without any directory, but I want to make this structure better. Okay, just paste it here and yes this one would be the user right okay uh, user slash uh, user dashboard and then another would be the admin so this one would be the supervisor supervisors slash dashboard and then this would be the supervisor uh, dot dashboard okay and then this would be the admin slash admin dashboard and admin dot admin dashboard that's perfect and ah, why i'm adding this admin with all of the um, fix so let me remove this that would be a supervisor and this would be the admin that's perfect and this would be the use i think i did this plural so i need to add this singular okay uh, now it's fine i can access the user dashboard slash user slash uh, dashboard okay logged in as user here i want to use um, uh, supervisor supervisor slash dashboard and yes supervisor dashboard and here i want to use uh, admin right dashboard and yes now i'm logged in as admin right so i'm able to switch into any of the roles so now our role uh, our responsibility is to authenticate those roles that if user is authorized to access this page so then we will allow the user to access this page otherwise we will redirect this user on his intended page right so we'll do this in the next video stay tuned and watch the next video so i'll meet you in the next one bye bye